for the many things she gave me All means only that she's growing old Tears for the tears she shed to save me since the day we were born. <laughs> and what do I get? This rubbish heart and no cash. You must be as stupid as you look. <laughs> if you think you're the sign of boys only a motherhood love, well, think again. <laughs> well, I ought to chase your butts in. <laughs> Put them all together, they still mother. The world that means the Stupid poops! <laughs> it's the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. With ISO Dance Theater and the Bobs. Ron Lucas. Super Dave Osborne. Pat Paulson. Jim Stafford, Billy Vera and the Beaters, Daniel Polk, and Larry Katzler and his orchestra. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Smothers Brothers. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, good evening and welcome to another evening of Primetime Variety. We're glad that, you're, uh, that you've joined us again th this night to, for our weekly celebration of the achievement in the world of entertainment. And just before, pardon me, Dick, but just before we go any further, can I just take a moment just to, yeah. to discuss something? Can it wait? No, it's very important. I'd just like to discuss something. It'll, uh, it'll only take just a second. I just, okay, I'd just like well, to okay. discuss okay, something. Okay, I said, it, like it, it. okay, if it can't wait, we'll discuss it. I, I want to get into the celebration of performance, too, but just... The celebration of performance each week on Variety. Yes, I I'd terrific. like to discuss, I'd, I would like to Does this have anything to do with the show? It has, uh, I'd just like to discuss something with you. If you, you give me a moment. I'm, I'm, okay, what would you like to discuss? I would like to discuss, I would like to discuss why, why we always argue. <laughs> why we always argue? I'd like to discuss why we always argue. You mean you don't know why we always argue? No, that's why I brought it, brought it up. I'd like to discuss why we always argue. I, I, that's you mean after all these years, you have no idea why we always argue? I just, I just want to ask you why we always argue. I don't want you to... are the reason why we always argue. <laughs> you I'm, never discuss. I am not the reason we always argue. I don't argue. All I said, I would like to discuss there something. You're doing with it again. You. You're raising your voice. All I said, I said, I'd like My to discuss something. At me. I'm not to... screaming. Oh, you don't discuss things. <laughs> okay, listen. All I said. Did... I would like to discuss why we. I like to. I like to be the voice of reason. The voice of reason. That's what I, I think. That's a terrific of... idea. But just admit you were arguing. You were arguing. Now tell me I why don't you just tell me, tell me if you want to argue about discussion or discuss something about an argument. You want me to tell you whether we should discuss an argument, argument? Or, or, or argue about a discuss discussion? That's why right. don't we just skip discussion and discussing and arguing? I think that's a terrific idea. And get right to name calling. <laughs> That's stupid. That's stupid. You're stupid. You're, ch you're childish and you're stupid. Yeah, you're a dorkhead, stupid imbecile. Well, whatever you call me, it goes for you double. Oh, yeah, well, you're a, you're a bumbling, stupid head. Oh, God, just stop it. That's ridiculous. No more argument, no more discussion. Let's just get on. What, oh, it's... what about the name calling? No more name calling? Of course, no, Norm. Tom, if we're not going to discuss or argue, there's no name calling. Okay, you promise? I promise. For sure, no name calling? No name calling. Let's, let's... Okay. Okay. Butthead. <laughs> I thought we promised not to call each other names. I didn't promise. <laughs> That's right. Stupid, we'll be right back. Stupid brain. Will you stop that? <laughs> At Red 
Red Lobster. We know how you love shrimp. Lots of shrimp. So here's 29 shrimp, four different ways, all in one dinner. Succulent shrimp cocktail, sizzling shrimp scampi, crispy fried shrimp, and savory stuffed shrimp. It's the ultimate shrimp lover's feast. 29 shrimp, four different ways. This week at Red Lobster. And now, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, too, enjoy the shrimp and crab feast, just $10.95, and kids' popcorn shrimp, just 99 cents. This cold medicine gives you 12 hours of relief and comes highly recommended by pharmacists. But what 12-hour cold medicine do pharmacists recommend even more? Drixoral, the pharmacist's favorite. If you're a woman who's used Correctol, there's something you should try. Today's correct all. Oh, it's still as gentle as it always was, but now it's even more effective. Today's correct all. Still works gently overnight, but now even more effective. It gives me great pleasure to introduce this next gentleman. Number one, because we've never had an argument. And uh, number two, we've had a lot of good discussions. Ladies and gentlemen, our good friend, Mr. Jim Stafford. Hey! Thank you so much. Boy, I'm happy to be here on the Smothers Mother's Day show, and I'd like to do a song about kids. I love kids. I used to go to school with them. <laughs> I used to go to church with them, too. My favorite hymn was called Gladly the Cross-Eyed Bear. I thought it was about a cross-eyed bear named Gladly. <laughs> Now I got a kid of my own, and his name is Tyler, and this song is for him. Oh, they piddle in the puddle in the middle of the driveway. They pick their nose and throw their food. And they fall out of bed in the middle of the night because something in their dreams went boo. Then they crawl in your bed and they take all the covers and you shiver till your buns turn blue. <laughs> And then you wake up in the morning with little fingers up your nose. <laughs> That's what little kids do. Now they'll eat green beans if they find them in the carpet. <laughs> they'll eat anything stuck to their shoes. They like leaves and bugs and secondhand bubblegum. That's what little kids do. Listen to this. You're gonna need a lot of band-aids and iodine He's a tape of thylate, vapor, rub and calamine Chapstick, Q-tips, Vaseline and Tylenol And every now and then a little pep Oh, biz, mall <laughs> You can buy them chocolate ice cream They drop it on the sidewalk Buy them another ice cream They drop that too And they get real sick And they throw up in the hallway Just like Papa <laughs> Something we got to remember about our precious babies, and this is it. Someday they're going to be taller and stronger. They're going to do the things that they could not do. And someday they're going to say, hey, look at my old man. Why, he can't even tie his shoes. He Piddles in the puddle in the middle of the driveway Picks his nose and he comes his food He falls out of bed in the middle of the night Just like little kids do And around and around we go We're just like little kids too in the 60s, and many people won't admit they did it. But here's a guy who does it to excess and is happy to admit it and is wonderful at it. Please welcome world hula hoop champion, Matt Lindell.
Flindle, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. And if you like things that go round and round, remember that Yo-Yo Man's coming your way later in the show. But right now, that's right. <laughs> but right now, here's our favorite political candidate, Patrick Layton Paulson. This is Washington, the heart of our nation. The lifeblood of power flows in from all corners of America. Here is where that lifeblood gathers and settles and clots. The people of Washington understand politics. They know the problems of campaigning. This is the perfect place for me to test the political waters. I took my campaign to the Washington Monument and to the White House. This is the White House, the home of our president. Other candidates have criticized the president. They say he's lazy. They call him a lame duck. Well, I say bull feathers. Our president is not lazy. He has a two-pronged responsibility. He must supervise the day-to-day -day workings of the White House staff, and second, he must pardon him. Naturally, I use this opportunity to raise funds for my campaign. I look for the people of power and influence. Well, this campaign is expensive. I don't have a lot. Yeah. Close. Quarter. <laughs> Probably a senator. Run for president, and I. Certainly must have uh, quite a bit of money, you and I. That's true. Right, there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I found people eager to support my campaign for president. And everywhere I went, the press followed. Uh, George Bush is uh, running on a platform that says he's familiar with the problems of the presidency, and I think that makes sense since he uh, caused a lot of them. People want to know if the Democrats have a man capable of winning the presidency. I don't think they have anybody capable of winning the nomination. Well, there should be daycare centers, and they should be there should be daycare centers where you can drop the kids off without coming to a complete stop. Everywhere here in Washington, you find reminders of the greatness of America's presidents. Ask yourself, America, is there a man of greatness today? Ask yourself. Is there a man waiting, waiting to step into the highest office of the land? Ask yourself, America, is there a candidate whose time has come? Now, I know that's a lot of questions, America, but they're all yes, no. So if you don't know the answers, you could probably guess. Pat Paulson, a man whose time has come and almost gone. Paid for by the Pat Paulson Election Jihad. Like a good friend to really make a day, a taste of place, a smiling face. You know, you know the way. Good time, great taste. That's why this is my place. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. The good time, great taste, round the clock. Kind. Good time, got great taste, great taste, oh yeah, this is my place, there you go. good time, great taste, of McDonald's, McDonald's, the good time, great taste, of McDonald's. Friday night, a night of shadows and masks, when spirits of the underworld walk the earth, on Beauty and the Beast, beginning at 8. On Dallas. As of yesterday, your mother and I became co-owners of Southwark. But you have dishonored my daddy's name and everything he stood for. Southwark is no longer my home. And if you've been haunted by skeletons in your closet, Ow! friends you thought were long gone. I thought you were dead. And a secret organization bent on destroying the entire U.S. economic system. The 13 exist. They are a danger to this country. Well, what are you going to do about it? Watch Falcon Crest right after Dallas, Friday. If you suffer from alcohol or drug abuse and you think only a miracle will help you, remember miracles happen to people who believe in them. Reach out. Help will be there. Thank you. Thank you very much.
very much. Our next guests have proved that there are many, many ways to sing you know and something? dance that, that are... That reminds me of something. <laughs> Just when you say many, many ways, that reminds it me. It reminds you of what? It, uh, I, it, I'm, it's, it's not that important. It's really, it's not that important. Just, Tommy, just you interrupted it. me already. It's now, okay, with, forget it. Forget listen, it. I want to thank you for interrupting me. I really do. I want to thank my brother for interrupting me because last week on the show, my brother forgot to interrupt me and it distracted I, me I, and no, I couldn't concentrate I, I because I kept waiting for me. I didn't forget to interrupt you. Oh, come on. You know, I didn't forget. Maybe you don't remember that you forgot, but you forgot. No, I distinctly remember that I, 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 I did not forget. I distinctly remember reminding myself not to remember not to forget to interrupt you. I remember that. You remember all I of that? I remember that, yes. You do? Yes, I, you know, I have a mind, I have a, I, I do, I have a mind like a steel, um... Sieve. A sieve, a sieve, steel sieve. Steel sieve. They're yeah. the best kind, too. Yeah. Now, okay. now, now that we're stopped, what do you want to say? I forgot. <laughs> Moving along, our next act is actually two acts in one. The Bobs have been called the most remarkable a cappella vocal quartet since the great doo-wop groups of the 50s. The ISO Dance Theater is widely known for expanding the boundaries of contemporary dance. Please welcome ISO and the Bobs. guest is a ventriloquist, and the New York Times has called him the world's best ventriloquist. Please welcome Ron Lucas and Buffalo Billy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's really nice. I think the New York Times is wrong. I'm not the world's best. I'm like the best in my price range. <laughs> Maybe the best you're going to see tonight. Anyway, uh, how many of you know what a ventriloquist is here? Anybody? Raise your hands. Okay. For those of you who don't know, a ventriloquist is basically a person who can talk without moving his or her lips like this. Now watch the lips. Here we go. I went to work, sold down the sun, said, oh, thank God, I'm a country good boy. I'd play Sally Good and all day. If I could, the Lord and the wife wouldn't take it very good, so I still want a can of work when I should. Thank God, I'm a country good boy. <laughs> thank you. It's about five years of my life, so I'm glad you like that. Uh, now, people think a ventriloquist can make anything talk. They can throw their voice anywhere. Not yet. 
the out are you gonna get me out of here or not lucas you don't seem to under are you stealing the ant no ow you know something you have got a cold hand and you got to learn to trim your nails i don't see <laughs> oh heck it's an audience that's right you guys answered the ad. Billy, hang on, hang on. Let me do the introduction here. Uh, this is my friend Buffalo Billy. Look at this set. This is nice. It looks like the Sistine Chapel designed by Sears. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Are we on TV? Yeah, we're on TV. See, look right there. Want to have some of the folks at home? Watch this. Little trick. Hi there. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Don't do that. <laughs> Say what? Hello. Hello. Testing. One, two, three. You're out of sync. Want to get it back? Yes! What are you doing? I'm doing a little trick. <laughs> okay, you scared me there for a second. Okay. Uh, folks, a ventriloquist, what, what, what? Wasn't that funny? Uh, in, in a normal ventriloquist... <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know that it works. Come here, come here. I'm gonna put him in the trunk. No, no, not in the trunk. No, don't look at this. I'm upside down. All the foam is rushing to my head. I'll be good. I'll be good. Okay, okay. All right, we'll put him back. Can we sing the new song? What new song? Oh, we're gonna do tonight, folks. The famous row, row, row test. Uh, uh. No, no, no. Not, not the row, row, row test. Yeah. You don't know what that is. About 100 years ago, a ventriloquist claimed he could do both parts of row, row, row your boat. That's impossible. Go ahead, Larry. Start to vamp. Go ahead. Are you ready? I'm not going to do this. You think you're making me talk, do you not? I am making you talk. Then why the hell are you arguing with yourself? <laughs> On a count of four. Here we go. Take a deep breath. One, two, three, four. Row, row, row your boat. Row, gently row down the road. The stream, your boat. Merrily, gently, merrily down the merrily stream. Merrily, merrily life. Merrily is but merrily a dream. Merrily life. Row is but row a dream. Row your boat. Row, gently row down the road. The stream, your boat. Merrily, gently, merrily down the merrily stream. Merrily, merrily life. Merrily is but merrily a dream. Merrily life is but a dream. Some guys make it look easy. They've got the new moves. The hot hand. Because they've got new barbecue bag charcoal briquettes from Kingsford. Just light the bag for one barbecue's worth of premium Kingsford charcoal. To score some easy points, pick up barbecue bag. Just fire one in there and you'll have this game in the bag. New barbecue bag from Kingsford. What the pros use. These Italian gourmets will discuss internationally inspired Tyson gourmet selections. I shall translate. This chicken piccata is delicious. I agree. Tyson has five new gourmet selections. You don't say. Like beef tip champignon. As Tyson ventured into lasagna. Yes, lasagna classica. It's a world of great tastes. Tyson gourmet selections. Next week, two French experts. Oh, sorry. The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour will continue. Yeet. There's supposed to be 800 grand in this thing. I'm out 800 grand here. He's the only one besides me who's got the combination. I wouldn't be that crazy. I want that money. I need your help. I think he's trying to kill me. Where is she? He's doing business. Shotgun blast to the head. Your business. Who killed Meredith? She was more than just a friend. I can't involve the agency in this. I have no choice. You're crazy. I make it my business to know. I will personally send you to hell. The Equalizer, tonight. Get ready, Jake. Excuse me? And the fat man. What? You're still on CBS. Really? Yeah, tonight. You believe that? And you're next. That's the spirit. This is CBS. Today, sir, tender roast beef accompanied by potatoes francais. Holmes? Sir. Totally awesome, dude. Awesome indeed, sir. Roy's regular size roast beef sandwich, plus medium fries and a 15-ounce drink. Right now, just $2.99.
on 105.9 WCXR, every day is a no-repeat day. That means you'll never hear the same song twice in the same day. At least 311 classics a day. That's 2,177 records a week. Over 9,000 a month. And that doesn't leave much room for talk, does it? Every day is a no-repeat day on 105.9 WCXR, Washington's only classic rock. Congressman Dyson talks about the death of his top aide on Nightcast. Yes, once again it's time for the Yo-Yo Man. Now, we've been getting cards and requests from all over the country asking for tricks that even the Yo-Yo Man can't do. So, we contacted the great Yo Master from the land of Yo to come with, to be with us tonight. But first, let's say hello once again to the Yo-Yo Man. Come on out, Yo-Yo Man. There he is. Oh, I can tell by your boots that you are really in the groove tonight, aren't you? Yo-Yo Man says, yes, he is. He's in a high state of group. How about doing a couple tricks, Yo-Yo Man, to loosen up and get in the spirit of the evening? He says he'll do it. Okay, Yo-Yo Man, let's do some of your nice tricks. Get that yo flowing all over the audience tonight, round the world, loop the loop, loop the loop. He's feeling pretty good. Now, that's terrific. Now, please welcome Supreme. You got a little bit out of the groove there. Yo-Yo Man. Got a little bit out of the group, didn't you? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Supreme Yo-Yo Master Daniel. Good evening, Yo-Yo Master. Well, good evening, Yo Master. It's a pleasure to have you on our humble show. And now, <laughs> we have got these cars from all over the country, and they have requests for the tricks that, unfortunately, Yo-Yo Man can do these tricks. But the Yo Master can. Let's start off, we have a request from Minnesota, asking for a dog jumping through hoop. You know this, Yo Master. Very well done. He's got him down. This car is from Texas. Asking for rocking the baby, but rocking the baby from outer space. This is a very difficult trick. There he goes, the flying saucer. Oh, excellent, all right. <laughs> we have a double request this time, Yo Master from Oklahoma. They're asking for milking the cow and riding the horse. I've personally never heard of these, but there it is, milking the cow. And he'll segue into riding the horse. Giddy up, giddy up. All right. The young master is really in a state of yo tonight, isn't he? We have another request. This request is from New York. It's loop the loop and do that with the left hand and shoot the moon with the right hand. And do it. Look at that. Whoa, let's do it again. He's doing it. Shoot the moon and loop the loop. Let's hear it. That is terrific. <laughs> okay, the final request, Yo Master, is from the state of Arizona. It's called Two Tricks Again, Double Loop the Loop, and Criss Cross. Double Loop the Loop is there. Now he will cross the yo-yos over one another. Must be perfect time, and he's done it. Fantastic. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with the grand finale, a fantastic three yo-yo trick featuring the yo-yo man and yo master. It's called Triple Helter Skelter Scramble. Can they do it? The first time on any stage, the first time in any planet, the first time in any time zone. There is the yo-yo man and the yo master. He's doing it. Well, they've done it. Well, it's time to say farewell and thank you, Yo Master, Daniel York, and the Yo Yo Man. Until next time, remember, be cool, stay in the group, and just say Yo. That's right. Now, from the world of Yo to the world of classical music, PDQ Bach was the last and least of Johann Sebastian Bach's 20-odd children. He is best known for his opera Hansel and Gretel and Ted and Alice, 
and other works. Many using such unusual instruments as the left-handed sewer flute, the bicycle, and the windbreaker. And now here to perform for you the music of P.D.Q. Bach, please welcome Professor Peter Shickley, Peter Lurie, and Dana Kruger. one of the best of the sons of the writer. No, it's one of the lesser of the 20 odd children. Yes, but probably the most unique of the creators. Probably, but they were all odd, and he was the least of them. Now, here is a man with his own critically acclaimed smash hit television series on Showtime Cable. It's called Super Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Super Dave Osborne. Oh. Hi, Super Dave. Hello, Dick. Hello, Tom. And uh, I just want to say I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, I feel very badly because I was going to come and do uh, a stunt tonight, my signature stunt, Balloon Ball. I wanted to do it balloon live. Balloon Ball? Yes, it's where uh, my stunt coordinator, Fuji, uh, gives me a mantra, Balloon Ball, and I think of things that are round and filled with air, and that way I don't get hurt. But 10 days ago, I was rehearsing the stunt, and I had a slight mishap, and the doctor said I should go into the hospital. Huh. I lost about 10 pounds. It looks more like it, it, looks, like, it looks like it was more than just a slight mishap. It no, like it, it was just a slight mishap. But uh, I'm a man of perfection, and yeah. unless everything is perfect, I don't want to do well, it. That's well, a shame. that's well, I wish we we do have the tape. We did tape. Yeah, we could show the, the tape. rehearsal, and we could show. No, I'd rather I, I'd rather we didn't do that, and I'll come back in a couple of weeks and do it. It live. was more than a slight mishap because we have it on tape. Well, I think no, it, it was a slight mishap, and I think major. I'd like to show it if we can. Would you like to? I want to dedicate half the money I'm getting for this event tonight, Mike, to the Manitoba Meditation Society. Which is going society. Balloon ball. Balloon ball. Well, Mike, the hour is getting late, and I'm ready for this event. Well, all right, Super Dave, and as always, you know that our prayers certainly go with you. Thank you very much, Mike. Super Dave has a special transistorized microphone in his helmet so that we can... Hey, the hole was supposed to be bigger. ...stay in touch with him at all times. Come on. Guys, I want you to put that target around my head nice and tight, and I want you to lock it. I don't want to be able to move. Super Dave, aided by his two assistants, being placed into the hole. This is a doubly reinforced steel target Good. with a plastic coating in case of any eventuality. Good. Most difficult stunt. And as you can see, Super Dave and Mr. Hokiato are saying a special yoga prayer before embarking on this stunt. Thank you, Fuji. All right, Mike, if you can hear me, I'm ready for the stunt. Let's start it. Here, let me go ahead. 
Hey! Balloon yucks! <laughs> I never felt better in my life. Rimble. Oh, buzz on. What did you think? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, another successful stunt from Super Dave Osborne. That was pretty <laughs> Well, uh, I'm glad you had a good laugh. Uh, I just want to say something. Uh, you were on my Showtime show, and you made a mistake on the bass. I and remember. You made a mistake in the lyrics during the song, and you said, could we do it again? And I said, of course, because you're perfectionist. And I'm a perfectionist, and to show something like that come is kind on, of humiliating. I, come on, Super Dave, that was just a little screw-up. No, 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 wait a minute. No, it was a foul-up. Please don't use the S-word. It was a foul-up. <laughs> come on, what the hell? No, I thought... No, no, what the heck? Go. What the heck? Please don't use the S word and don't use the H word, please. I just, I don't think really anybody gives a damn here. I think it's a darn. Now, what gives is this? It's, please. Super, it's 1988. I mean, come on, be a little progressive. Yes, I understand. But you see, I have millions of kids that love me and their families watch. And if I'm going to stand here and condone the use of the S word and the H word and the D word, my entire reputation will turn to. <laughs> See you around, butthead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Super Dave Osborne. Super Dave Osborne. <laughs> Nissan hard body trucks are put together the way truck people want a truck put together. And now Nissan has put something else together hard body trucks and cash. For a limited time, you can get from five to seven hundred dollars cash back from Nissan on hard body trucks. Two wheel drives, four wheel drives, long beds, king cabs, the works. So if you're looking for a tough truck, now's the time to get yourself a hard body and a fistful of dollars. My skin has changed since I've gotten older. I'm worried about dryness. Dove contains one quarter moisturizing cream. It won't dry your face like soap. And with Dove, my face doesn't feel dry like with soap. It's funny to say this at my age, but it feels younger. Here's something totally different. Summer's Eve Feminine Wash. The first external feminine hygiene wash. It's non-irritating so you can feel fresh and confident every day. Summer's Eve Feminine Wash. The first cleanser for women only. Thanks again, boys, and keep the change. You hear all this nonsense about Kellogg's Frosted Flakes being just for kids. Well, I, for one, eat them, and I'm going to go right on eating them. Frosted Flakes just for kids. Come on. Like we adults have to go sneaking around. Like we can't love these crisp, sweet flakes just as much as kids. Mm. Who is it? You just have to admit it. Frosted Flakes had the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. There is a new antiperspirant so effective, it's tough enough even for a man's perspiration. But this antiperspirant isn't made for a man. It's made for a woman with a powerful new pH-balanced formula that works with her chemistry to help keep her dry. What is this antiperspirant? It's new secret solid. It might be strong enough for him, but it's made just for me. New secret, now with even stronger pH balance protection for women. Ron, Ron Lucas is a ventriloquist. He's into ventriloquism, and I would pl please have him on our, on our show. He's a ventriloquist. No, no, let me out of here right now. Let me out. Okay, where is that coming from? I think it's the shoe. Let me out. Let me out of here right now. Let me out. Are you letting me out or not? Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's the sock. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you. They are, they are. They are fairly loud socks, aren't they? Yes, they are. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Lucas. Thank you. I'm glad Tommy gave me this. I want to share something with you. This is something, I want to show you how to build a puppet. Now all you need is a, a sock and a rubber band. Hey, what are you doing? Building a puppet. Can you help me? What do you want to hear? Can you do a short gag? Yeah. yeah. No, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, now you need a couple of rubber bands to hold everything in place. I can't see. Hang on just a second, because this, uh, this is another sock. We're going to pretend it's hair. Isn't that cute? Okay, I've got a scarf. 
What are you doing? I'm building a puppet. This is going to be the dress. A dress? You're not male. You're supposed to be female. <laughs> oh, I am. I didn't know. It's OK. What are you doing? I'm tucking this in the back. Are you touching my tush? No, hang on, hang on. OK, here's one eye. Oh, look! <laughs> you need two. I do? Yeah, hang on. There you go. Wow, stereo. Right, OK. <laughs> look over here. How do you do that? I'm a honky. Right, okay. Uh, you, you get a real rough idea of how you can build a puppet. Now, you can change it. Hey, what are you doing? I'm taking you apart. Oh, does it make you feel macho? Hang on, hang on. Look, my ass looks like an elbow. You can't say that here. Now, hang on, hang on. Okay. <laughs> Count to three. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> okay. All right, quickly, say hi. Yeah. My name is George. I'm a turtle. Okay, say goodbye. I just got to... Hey, sir, no, I'm gonna stay. No. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for our local for your I can't see. Elephant man. Ladies and George. Yes. Say goodbye. No. I don't want to talk to a hand. Don't think of me as a hand. What are you? A naked puppet. No, you're not a naked anything. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. She is cute. <laughs> no, no. No, it's just, it's just a hand. Hello. No, no, don't do that. You're leaning on her head. I'm okay. Stop that. Are you all right? I'm fine. Wait, George, how about the foot? I'm all right. No, don't talk. I'm okay, too. Can I talk to the last guy? No, no, no. It's okay. I think I know him. I'm sure... Say goodbye. Say goodbye. I'm going to go see what the little guy is up to. No, no, excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. No, don't do that. Hi there. Hi. It's, no, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> say goodbye. Folks, it's been fun. So, good, 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 good. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Now, we're sure you recognize the woman in the Mother's Day card at the top of the show. She is, of course, Mama from the movie Throw Mama from the Train. And please welcome back Academy Award nominee, Anne Ramsey. <laughs> and, of course, this coming Sunday is Mother's Day. And, Anne, we'd like to present you these flowers for being on the show and for being a mom. There you are. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. And thank you, butthead. <laughs> Here's a boy every mother could love. Billy Vera and the Bitter. <laughs> what did you think I would give at this moment If you'd stay, I'd subtract 20 years from my life Fall down on my knees Kiss the ground that you walk on If I could just hold you Again I don't know where to start And I'm scared as hell to tell What's deep down in my heart And I feel like I could cry right now Baby, baby, baby Don't think I'm not aware Of who you are Or where you've been Or what you've done Cause I've seen your picture 
on all those magazines And I've never even been to Paris And I know you might find this hard to believe But it's true It's been 20 years since I've felt the things That I'm starting to feel for you Suey you got railroaded into has hit you like a freight train. And now you're churning out of control. Quick, signal the bubbles of extra strength Alka-Seltzer, because speed is what you need to derail that chug-a-lugging in your stomach and head. Next time you're on the Heartburn Express, flag down the bubbles and get back on track again fast. Alka-Seltzer to the rescue. Try extra strength Alka-Seltzer. More of what you take Alka-Seltzer for. Recently, we punished a Yugo in the rugged 8,000-mile One Lap of America rally. The same Yugo that handles everyday traffic beat 40 tough competitors. The same dependable Yugo you rely on every day. Outperformed Honda, Nissan, Porsche, even Jeep. No wonder more and more people are finding Yugo, the toughest, most dependable cars a little money can buy. It's Taster's Choice Colombian Select with half the caffeine. Get a full cup of flavor with only half the caffeine. The kind of coffee you savor for more Colombian beans. Taster's Choice Colombian Select. It's out there again, waiting. Allergy season. But allergies don't have to be a big problem. Not with fast-acting Benadryl, the most prescribed allergy medication ever. America's most beautiful dogs compete for the top prize. Join Charles Kuralt and Charles Osgood for 48 Hours Thursday. A twisted passion turns into an obsession ready to explode. And an elusive fortune. They're going to be digging up more than clay jars out there in the desert. Becomes part of a conspiracy. Don't make this look like you operate the drug ring. That could destroy them all. They worry about the whole family. They don't care. Knott's Landing, Thursday.
thinking. Tell me, I'm thinking. Tommy, why are why do you always think when we start singing? I don't know. Some kind of Something. magical, mystical thing Something that comes, comes over, over me. You're I always <laughs> think yes. when I'm singing. Okay, you're thinking about what? I was thinking about all the wonderful Bible stories that bring to mind when I sing that old time religion song, and I was just singing away. I was thinking about those my favorite stories in the Bible because there's so many classic stories, so Some many stories, stories that make you think, so many stories that have profundity. My favorite story, for example, my favorite story mm -hmm. is the story of Jonah and his ark. And when you got all those animals on there and you made a statement... Tommy, that was Jonah and the whale. It's Noah's ark. I like that story, too. You're confused. <laughs> but my other favorite story, Dick, to let me continue about this yes. thinking and talking at the same time, I think my favorite story of all are Joseph and his coats of many collars. And the significance lies there. So many colors, you turn your head in life. Um, it's and not it's so, colors. It's, it signifies this is so embarrassing. head it's, turning. It's colors. Colors, Joseph. It's Blues and greens no, and no, yellows. No, no, colors, yes. OK, colors. colors, colors. It's the same thing, a color and a color. Tell me, what is the point of all this? What? What is the point? No point. I just thought I'd bring up these wonderful stories. I thought I'd show Oh, because of the words. biblical song or the religious song? Yep. That's very good. You know what? I, there's a good thing you brought up. You reminded me of my favorite. My favorite story from the Bible, it's about Cain and Abel. You know, they were... <laughs> good story, Dick. It's a great it's a story. story. And they were brothers just like you and me. We're brothers, too. Yeah. But the only difference is that they got along much better. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that you're wrong there. See, Cain and Abel didn't get along near as good as we did. We got along... We got I'll tell better. you what, I'll tell you what. Since my brother's a Bible expert, why don't you tell everybody, everybody in the audience and all the, the Bible scholars there about Cain and Abel? Okay. Okay. Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel were brothers. They were brothers. Cain happened to be, and this is a story from the Bible, if my favorite story. Cain was the older brother, and he didn't get along with Abel. How do you know he's older? How do you know he's older brother? Cain? Yeah. What makes you think he's older? Maybe he was the younger brother. <laughs> there were two brothers, and Abel happened to be Abel, the younger brother. As I recall, the younger brother was a shepherd, and he offered the Lord a sheep. And the Lord accepted that his was sheep. a bribe. No, it was a political contribution. <laughs> and it was just a little influence, but he accepted it. And then Cain, the other brother, uh -huh. wanted to score some points too. So he he was Cain was a teller. And he, he told, was not a shepherd? No, he was a teller, he so was a teller. He, he offered the Lord a till. And the Lord, the what Lord did the till. I don't know what a till is. He offered the Lord I'm a not till. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think they're made in Germany, but they're not, they're not very well known. But I'll tell you this. The Lord, the Lord knew what a till was, and he cast it off because he didn't like the till. He accepted the sheep from, from Abel and didn't accept the till from Cain, and that's why Cain offed, that's why Cain offed Abel. That's he why offed he Abel. slew him. He slew him. So you think Cain slew Abel because of the sheep incident? Because of the sheep incident. Uh -huh. his, Cain slew Abel. Well, you're wrong. You're, you don't have this correct at all. No. The reason Cain slew Abel is because Abel interrupted his song. I, I didn't even know they had a knack. I really didn't. <laughs> they I don't, don't have an act, and neither do we, because we can't even finish the song. Yeah, but that's a good <laughs> but story. But you know what? We sure know how to finish a show, and this one's over. And we want to thank all of you out there for watching us tonight. And, of course, we want to thank our wonderful guests, Iso Dance Theater and Bob, Ron Lucas, Sister Dave Osborne, Matt Wendell and Ramsey, Jim Stafford, Billy Vera and the Peters, and Daniel Boak. And thank you all. Good night, everybody. We got a picture. There we go. When she was just a baby, Caddy Thomas's future looked bleak. Then a desperately needed liver transplant brought new hope. Five years later, Chris Gordon follows up the story that captured our hearts tonight on Eyewitness News Nightcast at 11 on the one and only Channel 9. This is Roger Terrell speaking for the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. Good night. <laughs>